uh, in terms of population, the majority of population still lives under areas that are government controlled. Except the difficulty is that it's not just rural areas, mm -hmm. it's seven international border crossings. Um, and the Taliban now controls more Afghan border crossings than the government. And that is, given the supply routes, a very, very serious challenge for you, isn't it? Uh, Jan Achiksai used to advise Pakistan's Balochistan provincial government and made the point that the Ghani government will not survive long because of the chokehold that the Taliban now have on supply lines. That is a very big problem for you, isn't it? We, we have challenges right now. This is not an easy time for Afghanistan. Um, but uh, like I said earlier, none of the gains the Taliban have made are, um, uh, are, are irreversible. Um, sure, taking territory um, militarily is one issue, but keeping, uh, uh, keeping it is, is not going to be an easy thing for the Taliban. And we are working as we speak right now uh, to, uh, to consolidate some of our security forces in order to retake some of those strategic uh, locations that uh, will have um, uh, consequences for our security forces, for our economy, uh, for our people. Okay, but we're talking about we're talking about a landlocked country which is utterly reliant on the supply routes, supply routes like the Wesh crossing in Spin Boldak, which is now in Taliban hands. We still have many of the supply routes still open, uh, so yes, we have lost some, and that's unfortunate, and we need to take them back. Uh, but there, uh, th that doesn't mean everything is cut off. We still have our major supply route to the north still open. We still have major supply route to the east.